1954 World Series matched the National League champion New York Giants against the American League champion Cleveland Indians. The Giants swept the series in four games to win their first championship since 1933, defeating the heavily favored Indians, who had won an AL record 111 games in the regular season a record since broken by the 1998 New York Yankees with 114 and again by the 2001 Seattle Mariners with 116, tying the 1906 Chicago Cubs for the most wins in a season. The series is perhaps best remembered for the catch, a sensational running catch made by Giants center fielder Willie Mays in Game 1, snaring a long drive by Vic Wirtz near the outfield wall with his back to the infield. It is also remembered for utility player Dusty Rhodes' clutch hitting in three of the four games, including his pinch walk-off Chinese home run that won Game 1, barely clearing the 258-foot right field fence at the Polo Grounds. Giants manager Leo DeRocher, who had managed teams to three National League championships, won his first and only World Series title as a manager. The Giants, who would move west to become the San Francisco Giants, would not win a World Series again until the 2010 season. This was the first time that the Indians had been swept in a World Series and the first time that the Giants had swept an opponent in four games their 1922 World Series sweep included a controversial tie game. Game 2 was the last World Series and playoff game at the Polo Grounds, and Game 4 was the last World Series and playoff game at Cleveland Stadium. The Indians would be kept out of the World Series until 1995, a year after Jacobs Field opened. Topic. Background The Indians, by winning the American League pennant, kept the Yankees from having a chance to win their sixth straight series. The last time the Yankees had been absent from the World Series was 1948, when the Indians defeated the Boston Braves to win the championship. This was also the only World Series from 1949 to 1958 in which the Yankees did not participate. The Indians easily won the 1954 pennant on the strength of the American League's top pitching staff, leading the AL in team era at 2.72 and complete games with 77. Pitchers early win 23 2.73 2.73 and Bob Lemon 23 2.72 era were in top form, with solid contributions from Mike Garcia, 19-8, 2.64, and Art Howderman, 15-7, 3.35. Bob Feller, at age 35, could only make 19 starts, and finished at 13-3. Cleveland also had potent hitting, leading the AL in home runs 156 and finishing second in runs scored 746, although the team managed just 30 stolen bases in 63 attempts. Bobby Avila led the offense with 112 runs and a .341 batting average, while Larry Doby, .272, 32 HRs, 126 RBIs, and Al Rosen, 0 .300, 24 HRs, 102 RBIs, provided the power. 
Catcher Jim Hegan made only four errors in 134 games and threw out 44% of would be base stealers. The Giants entered the World Series with a top flight pitching staff as well, with Johnny Antonelli, 21 7. 2.30 era, Ruben Gomez 17-9, 2.88, and 37-year-old Sal, the Barber, Magley, 14-6, 3.26. The Giants relied more heavily on relief pitching with Hoyt Wilhelm, 12-7, 2.10, 7 saves, and Marv Grissom, 10 to 7, 2.35, 19 saves, rounding out a staff that led the NL in team era at 3.09 and shutouts with 17. Manager Leo DeRocher used a solid, consistent lineup with all of his starters, except for the catching position, playing in at least 135 games. Willie Mays, 41 HRs 110 RBIs led an offense that also featured Don Mueller, 342, Alvin Dark, 293, 98 runs, Hank Thompson, 26 HRs, 86 RBIs, and pinch hitter extraordinaire Dusty Rhodes, 0.341. Topic. Summary NL New York Giants four versus All Cleveland Indians zero. Topic Matchups Topic Game One Cleveland got on the board right away against Sal Magley. Lead-off man Al Smith was hit by a pitch, Bobby Avila singled and Vic Wirtz brought home both with a triple to right. Don Little and Marv Grissom held them scoreless for the rest of the game. Bob Lemon gave two back in the third on singles by Whitey Lockman and Alvin Dark, an RBI ground out by Don Muller, a walk to Willie Mays and a Hank Thompson RBI single. Mays saved the day in the eighth after leadoff singles by Larry Doby and Al Rosen led to starting pitcher Magley being lifted for Little. Wurtz's drive to deep center field would have scored both if not for May's memorable catch. Lemon went all the way for Cleveland, losing it in the tenth when Dusty Rhodes, pinch hitting for Monty Irvin with two Giants on base, hit a walk-off home run. Topic. Game 2 Once again, the visitors started quickly but could not hold their lead. All Smith's lead-off home run off Johnny Antonelli put Cleveland up 1-0. Early win preserved that lead, pitching four perfect innings, but in the fifth inning, Willie Mays walked and Hank Thompson singled, and Dusty Rhodes, again pinch hitting for Monty Irvin, delivered an RBI single. Antonelli gave himself the go-ahead run by scoring Thompson on a ground out. New York had just four hits, but Rhodes padded the Giants' lead with a home run leading off the seventh. Their other hit came in the sixth on an Alvin Dark leadoff single. Antonelli walked six but struck out nine, pitching a complete game to give the Giants a 2-0 series lead. This would be the last postseason game at the Polo Grounds. Topic. Game 3 
A huge crowd of 71,555 hoped to see Cleveland get its first win, but things did not go well for the home team. The Indians trailed 1–0 quickly when Whitey Lockman singled, took second on a ground out and scored on a hit by Willie Mays. The run was scored as unearned because of an error by shortstop George Strickland. With the bases loaded in the third, pinch hitter Dusty Rhodes hit a two-run single. An error by pitcher Mike Garcia on Davey Williams' bunt attempt gave the Giants another run to make it 4-0. The Giants added to their lead on RBI singles by Wes Westrom off of Art Houtman in the fifth and by Mays off of Ray Narleski in the sixth. Ruben Gomez gave up just four hits and two runs, a Vic Wirtz home run in the seventh and an error by shortstop Alvin Dark on a grounder by Al Smith, with knuckleballer Hoyt Wilhelm mopping up for the save. Topic. Game 4 Cleveland's slim comeback chances took a beating as the Indians fell hopelessly behind, 7-0. The scoring started on a pair of Cleveland errors in the second inning. An RBI double by Mays in the third scored another run. The Giants' four-run fifth inning broke the game wide open. Starter Bob Lemon loaded the bases and was pulled for Hal Newhouser, who faced just two batters, giving up a walk to Thompson and two-run single to Irvin. The Giants added another run in the inning on Wes Westrom's sacrifice fly against Ray Narleski. A brief glimmer of hope for the home team came in the bottom of the fifth with a couple of Giants errors and a Hank Mieski three-run pinch hit home run, but except for a meaningless RBI single by Rudy Ray Galato in the seventh off starter Don Little, the Indians got nothing more as Hoyt Wilhelm and Game 2 starter Johnny Antonelli came on in relief and the Giants completed a four-game sweep. Topic. Composite box 1954 World Series 4-0, New York Giants NL over Cleveland Indians AL. Topic. Records Hank Thompson set a World Series record for bases on balls received during a four-game series with seven and Bob Lemon set a World Series record for bases on balls given up during a four-game series with eight. Topic. Notes Topic. See also 1954 Japan Series